So, <clears throat> lurking darkness on my video. Um, why? Um, why am uh, why I'm a nationalist and why I think it's right to be nationalistic and that is natural and it's good Lurking Darkness writes because I said the provosts are traitors. Uh, he said, you support the continuity IRA, um, but they are left wing as well. Whatever Republican grouping you side with is going to be left wing and communist, unless it's the dead blue shirts. It may be now, but the mandate that stretches back to 1789 and um, Rory O'Rory and uh, is it, uh, Sharon Price, uh, the communists, uh, when the provisionals were actually started and Sinn Féin started, um, in its incarnation in 68, I believe it was, it could be 69 or, or 70. Um, they kicked out the, uh, the communists. There was a split because the communists cool everything down. A, a revolution gets cooled down once you add communism to it. Um, now let's check out, uh, Republican Sinn Féin. Now I know that, um, continuity IRA... RAD and um, the real IRA have uh, merged. Um, but let's check out uh, what Republican Sinn Féin stands for. Its ideology is Irish Republicanism, Socialism, and Anti-Imperialism. How do you get more right-wing than that? Um, it's traditionalist. Um, I actually do not like, um, Republican Sinn Féin any longer because, I mean, I spoke out against it in the video because they do not recognize the exiles. Um, I mean, Roy O'Brien was correct when he said, I mean, we had NORAD here. Um, in Ireland, you guys would say, um, up the Ra, we'd say up the rebels. So Norad raised millions of dollars to buy weapons, and they were trained and given weapons by Libya. And for the first time in Irish history, the Irish had given up their weapons. Jerry Adams is the leftist. Left, leftist, left wing is globalization, destruction of culture. Um, Destruction of tradition. Um, you can have right-wing socialism. What do you think the fascists and the Nazis were? Unless you consider them leftists. I would agree with you if you considered them leftists. Because they still... Um, they were still for the proletariat, the, um, the revolution. They still, you know talked about, called each other comrade, uh, but no, I'm for 32 county sovereignty movement. Um, so, whenever communism had been added to the Republican struggle, whether it was in the 20s, or in the 40s, or in the 60s, um, and then again in the 80s, it had always cooled down the, um, the military aspect of it. I mean, just listen to Brendan Hughes, the late Brendan Hughes, a great man. Um, 
Jerry Adams is a leftist. Uh, Martin McGinnis is a leftist. They're sellouts. See, nationalism is believing that everyone has a right to live in their own land without imperialism, without colonization, without imperialism, without being harassed, um, you know, without having things forced upon them. And I believe this to be true. I believe, um, you know, I think all forms of colonialism are wrong. And communism is, you read the Communist Manifesto, it wants to destroy all eternal truths, wants to get rid of family, culture, tradition, all diversity, all private property, not just the means of production in private hands, but all private property. So, yeah, uh, it's the tra it was always the traditionalists that were the hardest fighters. Um, had the military campaign, the guerrilla campaign went on, um, three months into Tony Blair, you know, we would have seen a united Ireland before 9-11 had it not been for the traitor Jerry Adams and Martin McGinnis. And I don't like the fact that the late Martin Meehan, and I don't mean to speak ill of the dead, would, you know, and say things like, well, what did you do? What did you do in the struggle? You know? Even though he was, uh, he was, uh, fingered out, fingered as one of the guys who um, was with Freddy Scappatici, steak knife, the, uh, the British agent that went in and was killing Catholics. Um, he was part of the Nutter Squad. Um, and uh, I don't believe that the Irish people have a right, the Irish Catholic, the Irish Celtic Catholic has a right to give up the struggle because it's not theirs to give up. Right? I'm against colonialism, against globalism, and I'm against imperialism, and I'm against communism. Which means I'm a nationalist. And I believe that for everybody. I believe that for people in Africa. I believe, you know, if people want to get married or whatever, to a different culture, that's fine. I'm not against that. But it is the communist that cools down thing and that gets people killed and that are the supreme politicians who, you know, they fought a bloody war, the troubles for around 30 years just to receive seats in the Dublin Parliament. What a bunch of shit. All right, peace to you.